to the video guys i know you guys have been waiting for this review and for all the details on the rls method pullback risers that i got on my 2021 road glide right here um, i've been posting tons of pictures on my instagram and every day i'm being asked hey when's the video coming when's the video coming um i just wanted to get myself a good amount of time just to get a get some seat time on here get some miles on them um, and just kind of get the real feel of them, you know? These are the brand new to the market, brand new to me, brand new to you, RLNS Method Pullback Riser, 10 inch. I gotta say, I love the design of them. I love the whole aspect of the gauge relocating to the top clamp right here. Yes, so this is a top clamp. And that's where the gauges are located at. Amazing design, RLNS. You know, what can I say about Arlen S? It's, you know, the, the name speaks for itself. No, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for these risers with my hard-earned cash. So this is, just, like always, whether sponsored or not, this is my honest review on them. I hope these guys didn't take up my spot. Oh, man. Wow, they took over the spot that I was gonna go film at. Yeah. One thing about these risers is that it has changed the whole riding dynamics on this bike. I really, really hated those little, uh, what you call it those barrel handlebars that i had before it made you feel like you're like uh like you're a t-rex just like this down here you know horrible feeling um this t-bar setup obviously gives you more of an aggressive riding style um it, it makes this bike feel a lot lighter than what it actually is i'm really able to get in these twisties and just you know get real low get real aggressive and it just i'm able to just store around so simple it's just the whole ride inside the way everything is is put together it's, it's just perfect man i love it one thing that i will mention is that they do sit a bit forward um so you are going to be closer to um those gauges the uh stock setup they were all the way you know right underneath where the screen is at um, which that'll be my next thing we'll get into that but yeah um a lot closer to you Red in your face. Um, it, it doesn't interfere in any way. Like it doesn't bother me. Um, but I have a very, very clear view. If I want to take a look at my RPM or whatever gear I'm on, whatever it is, any information that I need to know from these gauges, I have right there in my face, which is amazing. Um, now, I am also 5'7". So this is what I look like on the bike with the bar set up. Now let's get down to the number one question. The number one question that I've been getting. Uh, does it interfere with the screen? Not whatsoever. Right now, what you might see is the bar bag. And the reason why I have that bar bag is, well, we'll get into that when we pull over right now. We look over everything. So we'll just give you guys a nice little walk around of the bike to see what it looks like on. Just beautiful, man. I love the whole setup it, and you know what it is is also something new that's just out on the market it's not something that you're gonna see anywhere and everywhere for the moment um but yeah just it, it looks absolutely amazing i think it just the whole setup the way it is i like it i'm not sure if a lot of people are gonna agree with that but i'm a big huge fan of it love the way it looks now let's get into the bar back Talk about the bar bag. This is from Torque. So if you are interested in buying yourself a bar bag, guys, hit up Torque Motorcycle Co. Use my promo code MK15. Save yourself some cash right there. Let's take this uh, bar bag off, and I'll show you exactly what I am talking about. This is the original uh, piece. This is where the gauges were at before. Um, 
and obviously the risers run down through there so you have all this exposed wiring now i do still have the whole piece from when i take it off so what i'm gonna have to do is do some cutting do some notching and then we're gonna put that whole piece back on here and get some type of back plate i know it sounds like it's a lot of work i mean i'm not doing it myself i'm not good with that stuff i'm having somebody do it but that's gonna clean everything up it's gonna have that the stock piece right back where it was at and with some type of back plate there so it's gonna fix it um so yeah that's that's the reason why i have the bar back because it just it, it just uh, it just doesn't look good aside from that the actual riser when we're talking about design i think it is designed really really nice um those nice lines on the side right there like i said before you got that top clamp as you can see the two bolts going through there this is the top clamp um i went ahead and i also because you're going to ask me what bar this is because the riser setup is from arlen s but the bar that i use is from thrash and supply it's a low bend bar um the lowest bend you can get um and it fit perfectly especially with these heated grips from the new harley davidson empire collection um these mirrors are also from that collection so also floorboards and the passenger uh, just everything we'll, we'll get into detail in a separate video about that but yeah so we got the okay we got a train okay So the bar setup does feel really good. It has a slight bend uh, backwards as well. Um, to, to, it's nice, man. I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the bar bag off while we ride just to show you guys exactly that line of view that I'm talking about where hopefully you're able to see through the camera um, that there is no interference with the screen whatsoever. I know a lot of you guys are going to be saying right now, oh, wow, that looks horrible. Those exposed wirings and blazy, 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 I don't know, whatever. Uh, but yeah I'm, I'm gonna fix it so yeah um i'm not sure if maybe they could have just done it differently because i did have this installed at harley i'm not sure if maybe they would have taken this part off somehow try to pull down these wires tacked it in the front somehow maybe they could have done that i'm i'm not too sure i'm not, I'm not too, too savvy when it comes to stuff like that um that that might have been an option who knows all right so now that we get back on the bike and have that bar bag off you guys are uh, able to see a perfect line of vision from the riser and where the um the screen is at so as you can see here there's nothing absolutely nothing interfering with my line of vision with the uh, screen which is amazing that was honestly my uh my biggest concern when purchasing these because i thought that it was going to come higher a lot higher than what it is now um, and it's, it's not, man. Now, as far as height and comfort, as you guys saw before, I'll show you again right here. This is what it looked like sitting on the bike. Um, the, the height is at a perfect angle. It's right underneath my shoulders. Um, not too high. I feel like... This just feels, it feels really organic. It feels really good, man. If you guys saw my last group ride, um, I went to Hawks Nest last Sunday and I already had the setup. So in that video, you saw exactly uh, the whole ride setup of everything. Um, and that was a, that was a really nice ride. That was a perfect way to break those things in, man. Cause we were really able to get into those twisties around the Hawks Nest. Um, hit all type of speeds and everything and it just felt good very happy with my purchase all right so now that we're back in the garage we can just finalize everything uh when it comes to design love them performance they feel great uh great height it does not interfere with the screen in the front which is a huge plus um, only downfall is the whole wiring thing, but like I said, I did not install it myself I'm not sure if maybe where I got it installed They could have done a different job with it as far as hiding those wires and taking off that stock piece in the front And maybe hiding things down below um, Totally fine. I still have the stock piece right here, which we are gonna integrate somehow maybe cut this right here then notch somehow notch it in there um, 
and clean everything up. So as soon as I find out or as soon as it's done, I'll be doing a follow up video with that as well. Um, as of now, the wiring thing doesn't really bother me that much. Like it's there, but you put a bar bag, you put anything else there and it's fine. And if there is anyone out there who has these on their bike and you are not dealing with the whole wiring issue, let me know, hit me up down below, hit me up on my Instagram, same name as my YouTube, Marvel Kennedy 7 let me see and know exactly how you want about yours. Now make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button down below to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. There's a lot more projects with this bike and my 2021 Lowrider S and also 2019 Sporty in the back, which we're still working on. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.